Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to convert our YOLO V5 weights in TensorFlow Lite okay so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends we are going to convert our YOLO V5 custom model in tensorflow light model okay so for that first you need to install latest open cv on raspberry os bull size 64 bit version this is what raspberry os bull size 64 bit version okay i have already created a video how to install latest open cv on raspberry os bull size 64 bit version then you need to install yolo v5 on raspberry os bull size 64 bit version okay so i have already created a video how to install yolo v5 on raspberry os bull size then if you want to create your own custom model for YOLO V5 object detection purpose, I will mention video link, watch video and just create your own custom model. Okay. So in this session, I'm not going to explain here all these things, how to create your own custom model then for that, how to train your own data. Okay. So I have already trained my data. Okay. So today's for this session, we are going to create our own custom model, which basically detect a face mask. Okay. So I'm going to open the folder. Okay. The file manager. And inside that, as you can see, if I open images and here it is, as you can see the mask image and the text file. So if I open image viewer, so here it is as you can see i have wear the mask okay so this is for mask image okay uh, we have basically two class one is mask and another one is no mask okay so this is uh, 70 images for mask okay and another 70 images for no mask so as you can see if i open no mask and here it is as you can see there is no mask okay on face so i have already draw the rectangle box okay so as I mentioned, I have already explained all these things in how to create own custom model for uh, YOLO V5. Okay, then inside data, I have uh, copy and paste all our images with their text file. Okay, as you can see, mask and their text file. Okay, then I have create the data.zip file. As you can see, data.zip file also. Okay, then I have send our data.zip inside our Google Drive. Okay, so then now we are ready and I have opened the YOLO V5 custom object uh, Google Colab file inside our Google Colab. Okay, so I have already uh, explained all these things step by step. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are ready, we have our data inside our Google Drive. Now simply we are going to start our first code. It will it will basically install YOLO V5 on our Google Colab. Okay, so as I mentioned today, so we are going to convert our YOLO V5 model into TensorFlow Lite. So we have done with first code. Now just scroll down and our second code which basically connect with Google Drive. Okay. Connect to Google Drive. Then sign in with your Gmail ID. Then just scroll down. Click on allow. Now we have successfully allow our Google Drive access. Okay. That's it. Now we are going to unzip our data.zip. So simply run our third session code. It will unzip our all data. Okay. All our images. So now simply we, we are going to change a uh, class and class names inside our data set YAML file. Okay. So we need to click on here folder. Okay. Then YOLO V5 train. YOLO V5 folder then we are going to click on double click on data set yaml so it will open data set yml like this way this is what our file and here we need to mention our class so our class is no mask and mask okay so first we are going to set mask okay and then our second class no mask no mask simple and number of classes of course two so just press ctrl plus s and it will save our file just close it and now we are ready and we are going to simply start our training okay as you can see it will create our model okay so just scroll down this is what our last code okay it will create our model so just click on here
and friends as you can see process is started 0 by 99 so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video okay so friends our model is successfully created okay and it's save inside runs train exp okay so just click on yolo v5 train yolo v5 folder okay then runs folder as you can see runs train exp so runs inside that we have train folder then inside that we have exp folder and then weights folder okay and then we have here base.pt this is what our custom yolo v5 model okay so we have our model ready now we want to convert this model into tf light okay so tensorflow light okay so what we are going to do i have create a new repository okay as you can see yolo v5 to tf light i will mention the link you need to simply copy and paste the link inside your browser then go to the code and click on download zip it will download our repository and as you can see we have download our repository then go here click on show in folder just right click extract here then we have our folder means we have our repository and we have inside that we have our text file so right click text editor and copy the line or we can say copy the code okay and we are going to open our google collab just click on code it will create a new cell okay as you can see and just click on here and paste the code which we copy so, so press ctrl plus v okay that's it now we want to simply run this code okay so it will create it will basically convert our base.pt uh, our yolo v5 model into tf light model okay so as you can see process is started tensorflow light starting export with tensorflow this is what the version so friends process is completed okay now we have our tensorflow light model ready now simply what we are going to do in same folder in weights folder now this time as you can see we have best int 8 tf light this is what our model which we convert okay our base.pt is our yolo v5 model and we convert our model into tf light as you can see the tf light so we are going to download our model so just click here click on download and it will download our tf light model okay so it's now downloading so friends as you can see we have downloaded our model okay remember one thing friends i already shared with you the code for creating your own custom model i have already shared the google collab file okay so same file we need to simply add at the end where we create our yolo v5 model after that we need to add new code and inside that we need to add our line our code line which we have inside our text file so now we are ready we have our tf light model okay so we download so if i just click here click on show in folder and then as you can see base.int8 tf light this is what our model so we need to move this model inside our yolo v5 folder so just right click click on cut go to the file system root then usr folder then local folder then lib folder then python 3.9 then dist packages and then here we are going to search for our yolo v5 folder so just scroll down scroll down scroll down and uh, yolo v5 okay yolo v5 and here we are going to paste our model our tf light model okay so as you can see best int dot tf light so now what we want to do we want to open data folder and here we need to create a data set dot yaml file and inside that we are going to mention our classes okay so right click click on new file and data set data set dot yaml data set dot yaml click on ok it will create our file ok so data set yaml right click open with text editor and here we need to mention the class names like this way so names names colon ship colon and just hit enter just press space button ok and then we need to mention zero colon space our first class is mask okay so mask okay then our second class means one this is the class id and the name class name of class is no mask okay so no no mask okay names colon enter then space zero is the id 
then colon space mask name of our class and one colon name of our class this is how you need to mention the class names okay inside data set yaml file okay now simply click on file and click on save that's it now we have done now go to the back and we are going to open our detail.py with tony python id because we want to mention our uh, model name also we want to mention our data set yaml file name simply so right click uh, here detect.py tony python id and as you can see we have opened our detect.py okay now if i scroll down scroll down scroll down and here it is as you can see i have already mentioned our custom model path okay so i have command default model path as you can see weights yellowify s.pt this is what default model so i have mentioned the new path weights and inside that i have mentioned full path as you can see this is the full path of our model which we create based hyphen int 8 t of light if i open yellowify you need to simply click here this is what our model right click and copy path it will copy full path open tony python id create a new variable weights is equal to and single quote and just paste the path okay and then we need to mention our data set yaml file also as you can see i have mentioned data is equal to root and data is equal to data set yaml by default it is coco128 yaml as you can see i have commented okay by default it is this is the path for coco128 yaml for classes and their names okay so we are going to use our own data set yml so of course we are going to comment default one so just comment it and also comment by default weight simple we have done so simply save our detect.py and we are ready now i am going to run our command so open terminal let me make zooming i hope you all see clear now we are ready and we are going to run our command sudo yolo v5 detect hyphen hyphen we are going to use a live camera so usb web camera so source hyphen hyphen source and index number of our camera so i have here only one camera so zero then hyphen hyphen img space 416 this is the command sudo space yolo v5 space detect hyphen hyphen source space source hyphen hyphen img 416 and just hit enter it will start our web camera and as you can see friends there is no mask and now as you can see i wear the mask and it's detected mask again no mask okay so so friends we have successfully convert our yolo v5 model into tensorflow light okay so i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye